The future is being born depending upon the man who is in the White House. And the man who is in the White House today certainly is creating a new future for our world. Father, he was my number one enemy. Yes, his father, his father was the cause of the Muslim rebellion. The Jabi the massacre happened under his rule. No. I am a Muslim. The fault of the father cannot be inherited by the son. Neither the father can be accused of the wrongdoings of his son. I am a Muslim. <laughs> Maaasahan, 74-85. Sino natin sino nandito? First Lieutenant Marcos Jr. Ferdinand R. Philippine Constabulary. metric tons are in the central bank of the Philippines. There's over 200,000 metric tons in Union Bank of Switzerland. And some of that gold is buried securely in the Philippines as well. Some of it is held in various banks, but the bulk of it is in the Philippines. So the World Bank holds the note on that gold? No. It is in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos and the authorized signatory. So how do, how do the people get the gold back? If it's their gold and it was taken by these bankers, how do we receive it? That is, that is the question. And they're just sitting there illegally and refusing to relinquish it. Part of the problem is that it's this gold is cloaked in secrecy. But in the last month, uh, Wolfgang Struck has been publishing all of the documentation. So it's there for people to see. We have the originals. And people just have to make sure that the banks do what they're required to do, which is release the world's wealth. Gold for gold, dollar for dollar. This country, the Maharlika, is the richest country in the world. During a talk show in American TV, the week following the 9-11 bombing of the New York Twin Towers on September 11, 2001, President Bush asked this question. Which is the richest country in the world today? With a smile he said, the Philippines. On April 9, 1973, Marcos said, My earthly goods have been placed in the custody and for the disposition of the Marcos Foundation, dedicated to the welfare of the Filipino people. This will save the world. The world. The world. The outrage. This is the reason why I want to 
survive. This is Marcus. Are you saying you're open to giving some or a, 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 an amount of this one to the country, to the Filipinos? I'm not only the Filipinos, but the world. I can tell you uh, this, that um, we never spent uh, government funds for our personal purposes. If we did, we replaced them immediately. I may have committed many sins in my life. Stealing money from the people and from the government is not one of them.